to follow up the pattern you need to have a, a magic loops or you based on your yarn you can uh, make 12 or 16 chain then join the chain together and in these loops we need to have 32 double crochet as usual we make three chain for the first one then we start to make the next uh, 31 double crochet as I told you at the end we need to have 32 double crochet in this loops this is the end of row one for row two what we have to do is start by chain three then we make a another double crochet like that then chain two and we make four double crochet one in top of each one like this chain two and we make two double crochet chain three two double crochet this one consider as one corner here is a half a corner it means that between that one you are going to have four double crochet let's repeat again by chain two and now it's time to make four double crochet let's make another corner by chain two two double crochet chain three two double crochet Right. We are going to keep continue until the end of the row. At the end of row two, the pattern should look like that. From now on, always we start the pattern on the corner like that. Uh, as you can see here, I have a square for the last one. Instead of making three chain, I'm going to make two chain, then make half double crochet to start the pattern like that. Now it's time to chain three, one double crochet. Again, two chain, two double crochet. When it comes to the middle, like that, we make two chain. The space between here, we make two double crochet. Then we are going to make one double crochet on the top of each and previous double crochet. As 
as you can see here, between in total we have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 chips. Now we make 2 chains, comes to the corner, we make 2 double crochet, 3 chains. Two double crochet like that and we repeat here again by make eight two double crochet two chain two double crochet four chain and we repeat the pattern like this until the end of the row as you can see here at the end of row 3 the pattern should look like that row 4 again we start the pattern on the corner by chain 3 1 double crochet chain 3 2 double crochet When it comes to the middle again, we chain 2. Now it's time to make 12 double crochet. We make 2 in this space here, 8 on the top of each, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and two in these spaces. Like it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now it's come to the corner and again we repeat by chain two, two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet, right. We are going to repeat the same and I repeat. This is the end of row. Four. The pattern should looks should looks like that. For row five, what we have to do? We start again. Corner by chain three. One double crochet three. Chain two double crochet like that. Then chain two. Now it comes to that part, it's time to make 16 by each two double crochet in this space and one on the top of each. Two more here. As you can see now we have sixteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Then chain two and we at the corner again. Right. We do it until the end of the for row, at the end of row 5, the pattern should look like that. For row 6, we are going to repeat the pattern. The same to the corner. 2 double crochet, 3 chain, 2 double crochet, after 2 chain. Now it's time to make 
20 double crochet 2 in each of a space and 16 on the top of each double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 this row you are going to have 20 and it will continue until the end of the row at the end of row 6 you have the pattern should look like that for row 7 what we have to do we start by chain 4 1 triple crochet 3 chain 2 triple crochet then it comes here 5 chain in the middle we are going to decrease the pattern by make 16 double crochet 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 then 5 chain again when it comes to the corner the pattern should look like that 2 triple crochet 3 chain 2 triple crochet 2 chains between again 2 triple crochet 3 chains 2 triple crochet and repeat the pattern for the next corner like that I'm going to keep continue until the end of the row and I'll be back. Row 8, as you can see here, from the beginning we are going to make um, 4 chains, 1 triple crochet, 3 chains, 2 triple crochet, then we are going to make 5 chains. This time, in the middle we are going to have 12 double crochet 2 4 6 8 10 12 when it come to the corner 5 chains again and as you can see here you are going to make 2 triple crochet in the first space 3 chain 2 triple crochet between we are going to have 2 chain we repeat here again one more time 2 chains between and one more time the same as you can see here i have one two three on the four then we make five chains and we repeat again i'll do that until the end of the row and i'll be back for row nine as i told you we are going to start uh, the half a corner like that Two triple crochet, three chain, two triple crochet. Then we start five chain. This time we are going to have eight double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We repeat by five chains. And then at the corner, as you can see here, now you have to have one, two, three, four, and five groups of. Uh, Three double crochet, three chain, two double, two triple crochet, three chain, two triple crochet, two chain, and repeat like that for the corner. Then again, five chain, eight double crochet, and we do it until the end of the row, and I'll be back. Row ten, as you can see here, just we start. The first row of a uh, two triple crochet, three chain, two triple crochet. Then comes to the middle five chains. Now it's time to make four double crochet, five chains again. When it comes to the corner, in the first body, repeat the pattern like usual. Then we are going to have three chain, one single crochet, three chain. Here we repeat again the pattern. In this part we repeat by 3 chain, 1 single crochet, 3 chain. The one exactly in the middle, what we have to do after 2 triple crochet, we chain 8 and we repeat the other part exactly like 
the um, the other side of the cord like that. Then you go again and make five chain for double crochet five chain and repeat the corner like the one like that. I'll do that and this is the last row and your motif is going to be finished. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and have a great day.